Okay, we are going to prepare a speedometer and this speedometer contains two things, a donut and then a pie chart. Now the donut comprises of three, four parameters. One is the red zone, the, which is this, and then the yellow zone, the green zone, and then the end. So the end is just the total, the sum total of everything here so you have 15 plus 30 plus 55 will give us 100 so that's the total we call it the end and then for the pie chart which will contain the needle okay we have a target value so the target value for instance 15 or let's say the target value is 75 so once i put on 75 you see the speedometer takes me to 75 and then the needle width the needle width is this particular uh, needle that moves okay and then the rest of the portion so the rest of the portion is the total sum of this which is uh, 15 plus 30 plus 55 plus 100 which is 200 minus the sum of the target value and the width so with this we can use it and prepare this here is a spin button this spin button you can use it to increase okay or decrease so i'll also show you how to add this spin button and then make everything dynamic so let's begin our journey so here okay so i'm going to copy this I'm gonna, i'll copy this and then go over here and paste it okay so here the width here is the portion area here should be some here is 15 plus this so 200 200 minus some of this okay so here is the portion area so the learning then we are going to insert our chart so here insert click on this we select donut okay so we delete hit delete here hit delete so we have a donut in this place so if you watch this donut this largest portion here is the end if you check here now this is the end you see the end and then this one represents the green zone so we right click and then click on format series so we're going to rotate this angle to 270 degrees so once we rotate it to 270 degrees then we can make this yellow color here to be transparent so on no field so it's not transparent so this smallest one is red zone so we change the color to red and then this color here is yellow we change the color to yellow and this color here is green we change it to green so we've already gotten uh, the donuts in this form so we now move to the second stage which is to add this okay so still on this chart you right click and then click on select data so in this select data click on add so we are going to add the second data which is our needle okay so here now you select the needle which is the name and then sorry edit okay so here we now select the value okay you hit enter and click okay so you can see that we have a large portion here so this portion area here is this 134 so this second chart here we are going to make it a secondary data so it is our secondary data so we still rotate it to 270 to 270 and then here this right click format okay so here we go to color but before we go to color we will change this chart okay we'll change it to pie chart so here we'll say change chart 
now for this secondary data you see the first one is this do not so the second one we are going to use it as pie chart and it is our secondary data okay so it's secondary data so you click ok now this secondary data which is the pie chart we are going to do some things now rotate it rotate Okay, so we rotate it at angle of 270 and then the large portion here which is this the large portion which is this okay so we click no fill and then the red portion we also select no fill okay so we now have this little portion remaining here so here we can change it to black okay so the little portion is black and then we can also add uh, the wheat we can add the color to be black so that it will be visible okay so you can increase the weight of the transparency so you can see here now we have created a speedometer okay so once you change the value here to be let's say a 10 okay so 10 it returns to 10 which is in a red zone if we increase here to 28 okay 28 is within this yellow zone and then if we go to 45 45 is also within this yellow zone but green zone starts from 55 up so if i change this value to be 55 and I go so you see it moves to this so that's how to create this and then the last step is to add our spin button so to add our spin button what we do is you go to developer and then click on insert so here you see a spin button click on it and then you can just draw so this is a spin button then right click and click format control so once you click on this the current value you leave it as zero so minimum value you can change it to one and then the maximum value in this the maximum our maximum value from this chart is 100 okay and then we increase by one so we are going to link this so our linking the cell link is our target value so you click on this and then check this and click ok so everything is now what you see the target is at one so once you click on this it keeps increasing okay so that's how to create a speedometer using an excel okay so i believe you can add this to your project and then keep improving your skills on excel thank you